Kia ora, bulla, hello. I'm Philip Duncan from weatherwatch.co.nz. Thanks very much for joining us for our special South Pacific tropical cyclone update. We've also got the forecast for New Zealand through until Sunday and with a big high pressure system in our part of the world it's looking quite settled but we'll talk about New Zealand in a moment. First of all the double trouble cyclone, cyclone Yasa which uh, formed on Sunday night and the more recent one cyclone Zazu which formed over the last 24 hours. So we'll start with the tracking. Now this looks like a bit of a mess. Let's just try and break it down a little bit for you. Basically the two storms for the next sort of four or five days are tracking in a similar direction. This one is holding firm uh, for a couple of days circling around and then it will drift over Fiji. That's why Yasa is so serious. We'll talk about that in much more detail briefly. The next one, Zazu, that is also becoming serious. That's Tonga here. So it gets very close to Tonga. Then it moves out to sea away from most populated places. So hopefully it's not going to be too destructive. But this is the more close up tracking of Zazu. So here's Fiji. There is Tonga. And over here, we've got Nui. So this, this cyclone is coming around and through and away from most of the main islands. Obviously some risk at the moment, especially as it comes in closer to Tonga. It only has to go a little bit further south and suddenly you're getting more uh, risks of severe weather. But the positive with this one, for the most part, looks to be out at sea. But if you live anywhere in this area, Please keep up to date with your local warnings. They will be uh, far more detailed than what we're doing here with sort of an overview. The other one is Cyclone Yasa. So this is a mess, as you can see, lots of lines. That means it's not moving. It's just sort of going around in a circle like a spinning top. But eventually by Friday, Thursday, Friday, it changes. And this is the problem. It's now showing a direct hit as a severe, maybe category four, maybe five uh, cyclone as it comes in towards Fiji at the end of this week. Then it drops south. The positive, I guess, for Tonga at this stage, you're a little bit in the risk zone, but you're mostly on the outer edges of it. So this storm will come into Fiji at the end of the week. For the next few days, it is still stuck here. Here's the wind map. So this is Tuesday. This is uh, the current one for today. As you can see, we've got the two storms up here. Uh, the, the second one that's formed is a little further south, so some people are asking, are they going to join up? There's actually quite a bit of distance in here, and this one's moving away faster, so they shouldn't do, but with them so close, it does make it more complicated. It means that it's a little tricky to know just exactly how close Yasa will get to Fiji. Direct hit is the current thinking. So this is where we are for today. Let's bounce this to tomorrow, 24 hours from now. You'll notice that this one's moved away much faster, whereas Yasa still in the same area, and both of them are worse. This is likely to be a category two uh, by the time we get into tomorrow. This one up here stuck in the same spot between Vanuatu and Fiji. New Zealand itself, uh, lighter winds in most areas, but still a bit of a brisk northwesterly coming in through Cook Strait. Let's take a look at Wednesday's setup. So the low up here, out at sea, not really doing too much uh, in, the, in, the, in the severe weather sense, but Vanuatu, bit of rain, Fiji, a bit of rain, winds don't look too bad. Out here, the cyclone category two. Now, this could be impacting some parts of the Cook Islands, but really, and Tonga, but it's moving away from you as the day goes on, although it does get worse in strength. So a little bit of one step forward, one step backwards. High pressure and a bit windy around New Zealand for Wednesday, but it's warm winds coming down, so a number of places again, mid to late 20s, maybe into the 30s. Let's move to Thursday. This storm's moved a little closer to Fiji. Yasser is now bringing in heavy rain for you, but the worst of the winds probably don't arrive till later on into the day, but Thursday, evening certainly one to watch this storm moving away from the cook islands moving away from rarotonga it's still a major system but it's at sea so it shouldn't be causing any issues high pressure continues to cover new zealand with settled dry warm weather pretty much everywhere now at the end of the week this is where fiji is in the firing line in comes cyclone yasa directly we think and if it's not directly hitting it, it's going to be very close. So it's definitely one to watch. In New Zealand, warm subtropical winds coming down, but attached to a low. So the rain clouds will thicken up for you coming in towards nighttime. Let's take a closer look at this one. This is quite serious. Now you start to understand when you zoom in, those isobars don't just look like a white blob. 
you can actually see what the air pressure really is as well, down to the 940s. So that's getting down to category four, maybe category five territory directly hitting the main island. Nandy's just here, Suva on the other side. This is a serious system. Now it might come in a little bit further out to sea. Either way, it's still going to have all these big strong damaging winds coming down and affecting you. So if you live in Fiji, high alert now, be aware of potential uh, warnings coming out very soon and get prepared for it. I mean that's about all we can say is get prepared. Now this is only a few days away, it's not 100% locked in. So you still have to keep up to date with the Fiji Met Service if you live in Fiji for the very latest. On Saturday, notice that it's moved away fast. That's a, that's a real positive, that it doesn't look like it's going to linger. So all those days stuck up here in the, in the Pacific, all of a sudden it starts to speed up as it moves away and it doesn't look like it's gonna be impacting uh, Tonga as well. At this stage, you look a little bit too far out to the east, but definitely one to keep an eye on. Saturday in New Zealand, see what I mean? It doesn't look anywhere as bad when you zoom out. It doesn't quite read the, the lower air pressure readings when you zoom further out. For New Zealand itself, this is the big high that we've got right now, today, Tuesday. This is going to be next week, or this Saturday, and into next week, the guiding force for Cyclone Yasa as it comes down our way. So New Zealand, a little bit of a westerly wind blowing around on Saturday that will lift temperatures up in a number of areas, bit of rain down here in the bottom, otherwise it is dry. As we go to Sunday, some of that wet weather moves up the South Island with a bit of rain even getting into Canterbury, but further to the north you'll start to notice a very light easterly wind forming in the far north. The storm still a long way away from us, but it's getting closer. Now the big high that's over us right now today, this is it here on the map, way out to our east. This will be the guiding force for Yasa as it comes in towards New Zealand. It might start to pull and get pushed, pull or pushed, make up your mind, probably pushed uh, out to the Tasman Sea and that's where it becomes a bit of an interesting system for us, maybe around Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. But remember, just because it's a cyclone here doesn't mean it's one here. It may well just end up being a bit of a rainmaker for us without all the uh, severe weather attached. One to definitely watch. Nothing's locked in just yet, but that's our latest update on these cyclones. We'll be back again on Wednesday with our next update.